In 2019, the Watchman team was there every step of the way to bring you the inside, on the ground story on the rise of Iran, starting with an exclusive visit to a place where few Americans have set foot since 1979, the Iran-Iraq border. Take a look. Dalton, this is amazing. This is this Kurdish Peshmerga post is literally a castle on the Iranian border. Who knows how old this place is? But here we are ascending to the top with the Peshmerga on the Iranian border. Wow. So this is Iran right here. These are IRGC positions. Quds Force, Revolutionary Guards Corps. Very dangerous, and I'm sure watching us right now as we speak. Uh, the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Corps, which by the way, has been designated by the Trump administration as a terrorist organization, officially designated by the State Department, and rightfully so. The Peshmerga soldiers are here at this post. I would say this is the edge of the civilized world on the Iran border, where we have the world's leading sponsor of terror on the other side we're staring at right now. Again, these IRGC positions all around us here on the mountains of Iran. Right over my shoulder there is where the Iran-backed terrorist army Hezbollah dug one of a network of terror tunnels right here along the Israel-Lebanon border with the intention of invading northern Israel, of invading the town of Matula, where I'm standing right now. That is, until the Israel Defense Forces discovered and destroyed that tunnel. But the threat remains. So the purpose of the tunnels was to get advanced parties into Israel. Small units, say dozens for our purposes, maybe even less than that, to get in and grab key tactical areas, whether it's a high point, an observation point, an intersection, a road, in order to block off an area, prevent Israeli forces from getting into that area, and allow those assault companies to cross over above ground. Ah, so you'd have above ground and below ground. Coming up first below and then, and then coming in from above. If they take ground that happens to be a populated area and they kill two, three, four, five hundred civilians and then get wiped out, that's a victory for them. Wow, they kill civilians. They plant the Hezbollah flag on Israeli soil. Take the selfie. The selfie with the flag, the image beams out, Al Jazeera. And we conquered the Galilee. That's, that's the idea behind it. When the incoming uh, alert sounds, the red alert sounds, I have between zero to 10 seconds to get from wherever I am in the house into this room. It's not very long, Adele. It's not at all, and I don't always make it if I'm in the bathroom, if I'm in the shower, I don't yeah. make it in time. And then when I get here, I have to close the iron door window and then close that window as well. Yeah. And then... And then I'm safe. Then and only then, and, and God forbid, like you said, if you're in the bathroom, zero to ten. No, I don't get here. If, if I'm in the middle of the shower, I don't get here in zero to ten. But this is your safe room. But this is my safe room. And every home in the community has one. Every home within seven kilometers of the border has to have a room that is basically a bomb shelter. We are here with General Musa of the Peshmerga, and we are on the front lines, quite literally. This was the front line uh, between the Peshmerga and ISIS. Battles with ISIS occurred right where I am sitting. Not only that, today it is still a front line between the Peshmerga and Iranian-sponsored Iraqi Shia militias. In only five to six months, ISIS tried to take this village 14 times. Every time, they were heavily attacking this village. But thankfully, every single time they tried, they failed. We defeated them every time. They left a lot of their dead bodies here in this territory. Well, 
Elliot, we are here on the Red Sea. Yes, we are. Uh, at really what I would say one of the most critical crossroads of the Middle East. Set the scene for us right now about where we are and why it's so important. Well, actually, it's not just a crossroads of the Middle East. We're in a crossroads of the world. In the Red Sea, Iran would like to choke it. And we've already seen the initial, call it the introduction to that story, yeah. with the Houthi rebels in Yemen. Uh, a lot of people, I think, think, oh, there's a rebellion going on in Yemen. Who cares? Yeah. Why should that make a difference right. to me? And a glance at the map will tell you why, because the tip of Yemen is the shore of the entrance to the Red Sea. If the world knows nothing else, the world knows this. America stands with Israel. Thank you for your willingness to stand up and engage and fight. Fight for America, fight for Israel, and fight for doing what's right. I was able to travel now twice to see our embassy, the State Department's embassy, that was moved to Jerusalem to recognize a simple reality of Jerusalem, Israel's capital. Now, now and forever. Now, there were many other important national security stories in 2019, including chaos in Syria, political upheaval in the U.S. and Israel, and the growing alliance between Iran, Russia, and Turkey. We'll discuss all of that a bit later in the show, but up next, we continue our 2019 year in review by bringing you some of the fascinating people and places that you saw right here on The Watchman Show this past year. Don't move.